Hey you guys, so today we are looking at these, which are my bootleg KO um, Spider-Man collection. We have, most of them are Mafex. Let me read them off the list so I can get them exactly right. So, we have at this end, Mafex Amazing Spider-Man action figure on... Uh -huh. Then we have the Iron Spider Mafex. Then we have, um, which one's that? That is the SH Figure Arts Far From Home. And then PlayStation 4 Spider-Man on the end. Uh, these th th quite popular videos. And you guys keep asking me about heights and things like that. So I thought I would show them all together so you could get kind of an idea of, you know, what size they are. Lunch. So yeah, um, obviously the Iron Spider does come with this, but it's actually the first time I've stood him kind of flat. Um, which is, I didn't realise, it, it, it was a little bit difficult to get him to stand, but he is now, he is now standing. Um, so, this obviously is the, let me put the guys over there and over there so that they're not in shot. Because then it won't lock onto them. So yeah. Mayfex Spider-Man. Um, I still haven't fiddled around with the... People keep telling me that these, this bit's wrong. I really do need to have a look at that. Just out of interest, and so we all know, he stands at... Um, let's have a look. Just over five and a half inches tall. Oh... 14 and a half centimetres. Yeah, and you know, articulation and stuff like that, you can see in the other video. Um, obviously, with the uh, Iron Spider Tom Holland, he is a little bit taller, but he actually goes with the Mafex Venom. So, there's a Mafex Venom with him, as you can see, and they're of a similar height. I'm not sure if the same, not the same body because he's a bit more muscular, but I can't get him to put his feet together. Come on, guys. Perform. Yeah, so he's a bit taller. This, these are like the McFarlane in artwork kind of Venom and Spider-Man, which is, uh, you know, one of the more, more popular looks for Spider-Man through history. So, yeah. so that's those guys. Ah, yeah, we have the Tom Holland. I love the shine on this. It's so shiny. And, yeah. He usually stands, like I say, I'm going to put him back on the, on the stand later, but he usually has the stand with the arms, which have lasted quite well. I do sort of repose them in that now and again. So, yeah. And, I mean, look, very sturdy figure, very poseable. Yeah. And he comes in at, let's get his feet. I try and get the feet as flat as I can, because that makes a difference on height. Rate. He comes in at just 14 inches. And, um, just, sorry, start that again. He comes in at five and a half inches and 14 centimeters. I get my feet and inches the wrong way around. There we go, yeah. So, he's height-wise compared to um, Far From Home, they're yeah, pretty much the same size. Let's just have a quick while they're together. Actually, his feet need to be, there we go. 13 and a half centimeters. Just a little bit under five and a, well, quite a bit. Just above five inches. Hmm. They look the same height when you put them together. Oh, yeah. He's a little bit short. Hmm. What do you know? But again, very poseable, very... And look at the, the amazing web pattern that he has on there. Far better than the... Um, this is the uh, Marvel Legends Spider-Man, which has no webs on it whatsoever, but is taller, because Marvel Legends always are a bit taller than 
uh, message figure outs and things like that. So yeah, there we go. And next we have the PlayStation 4 game. Uh, I don't know, did you guys play it with that outfit? I, I, think, I, I think I swapped mine out. I think I, I went for a more classic look. But I do, I do like the design. Yeah. Some of his joints are a little bit. Oh, that's fine. Pull them out there. Yeah. That's how he, that's how he stands on the shelf. It's, it's the only way you can pose a Spider-Man really, isn't it? You know, he's going to pose them with the, the web shooter look. So let's see if we can get his feet slightly more together. Like I say, try and get the feet together because that gives them more. Uh, he's just under five and a half inches. Um, just over 13 and a half centimeters. So yeah, I say they're all different heights, they're all different sizes, but they're all pretty cool. So. It's a wonderful day in the neighbourhood, a wonderful day in the neighbourhood, won't you be my friendly neighbourhood, friendly neighbourhood Spider-Man. That sounded, that sounded funny when it started in my head and then <laughs> I couldn't say neighbourhood. Right, that goes on there like that and then we put him back on like that. Oops. And do that. Yeah. Let me just do this over here because we don't want to break anything, do we? <laughs> now, you see. This is one of the slight technical problems that you can have because those little pegs have to go into there. There we go. Excellent. So yeah, which is your favourite look for Spider-Man? Um, I do like this one and I do kind of like the Far From Home. I'm not that much of a fan of the film. I don't know. There was, it just seemed to be missing something. But yeah, that is my little Spider-Man family. So I did have another one. What was the one I used to have? I did I did um I did move one on. Uh it was it was another Mayfex one, okay. The one with the eyes. Yeah. But that one, I was kind of, mm, and needed some cash. <laughs> so yeah, that is my KO bootleg Spider-Man collection with some hype references for you and a group shot. Let's have a group shot, guys. Let's all get together. Oops. It's kind of weird because you've, every one of them, you just, I just pose like that. Standing on a shelf. So it is like, it is like, <laughs> not a lot of re originality in my posing of Spider-Man's. How do you guys pose your figures? Because it's that thing, isn't it? If you pose them too much, they take up more real estate on your shelf. So do you stand them all like that, which is like museum style, straight up? Or do you pose them, but then lose shelf space? It's kind of a, it's one of those weird decisions we all have to make, isn't it? I am actually quite impressed with these guys. And thank you to all of you out there that have watched all the previous videos of these guys. Um, like I say, just look through my, my history. You'll find them. They're in there. I'll try and put some linky bits at the end. I might even create a little folder with all the Spider-Man ones in. Just because you guys seem interested in them. Um, yeah. There is another... Um, bootleg Spider-Man appeared. Uh, let me just see which one it is. Wish list. Where is it? If it's still on here. OK. 
Kirch. Uh, Reveltech. That one. So I'm keeping an eye on one of those if you guys... What do you think? Yeah? That one. You guys interested? Yeah? No? If you are interested, leave a comment at the bottom. You know what to do. So yeah. Thanks guys for watching. Thank you to all of you, those of you out there that have subscribed. Um, please, if you haven't subscribed, hit the button down there. Hit the little bell button so you'll know when the next video is out. Yeah, that's it really. Uh, I hope you guys all have a great day. I hope you guys all have a great night. And stay safe, stay in, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye now.